What's up everybody, 5 foot 8 dunker, basketball trainer, Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics coming to you today for episode 79 of the Sky Vlog. Gotta remind you, head over to my website, www.skyathletics.com, pick up two free months worth of vertical training, and head over to my Instagram, give me a like, give me a follow, I appreciate all the support. Um, so you did not misread the title, although this is a little different from most of my posts, had to bring it to light, I was explaining, I've explained this to a lot of my friends, they don't believe me until they look it up. Um, and still some of them don't believe me and I don't know why, but you should be eating, I'm going to explain to you why you should be eating simple sugars like candy, pixie sticks, gummy bears after a workout, why it's nutritionally beneficial, why working out could be fun because you get to have little cheats like this every single day. Um, so yeah, so today I had, don't tell my, uh, if, I don't, I hope my sister doesn't see this, um, but because it's supposed to be hidden Halloween candy as if I'm not going to find it. Um, so I have had Butterfingers. To, I'm not, I ate too many Butterfingers, so I don't want any more of those. But Twix, um, what else? Crunch Bars. I'm salivating just thinking about it. I eat those after my workout. I eat those after my workout today. I did it yesterday. I did it the day before. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then when I run out, I'm probably going to go get some gummy bears, maybe some pixie sticks. Um, maybe a donut. Uh, on cheat days, I have donuts after my, uh, after my workout. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. So why those simple, why those candies? Why those simple sugars? Pixie sticks is sugar. It's color coded, really good sugar, right? Why? So I'm going to keep it really simple. If you're a bodybuilder, if you if you're a nutritionist, and I'm not using big enough words for you, and you don't think I know what I'm talking about, you can comment below and call me stupid, everything. But I just want to explain it simply so that. Um, you guys can understand because I don't want to make myself sound smarter than I am because I'm not smarter than you think I am. All right. So, um, so the sugars that, so when you train, when you're working out, okay, when you're lifting weights, your body's releasing glycogen. And again, that's probably the biggest word I'm going to use today, but it's basically, uh, glycogen is basically a bigger term for glucose. Glucose is sugar. Simple sugars that your body uses, that your muscle you that your muscles use when you're training. Right after a workout, the last thing I'm gonna do is go and eat my chicken or my pasta, you know, that, that generic post-workout kind of stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab three or four bite fun size candy bars, because why would I have just one of those? So I'm gonna grab three, four, or five of those bite-sized candy bars, and I'm gonna restore my insulin level back to normal, okay? So those simple sugars are gonna be used to get my insulin levels, my sugar, basically my sugar level back to normal because what my body just burned needs to be replenished. And those sugars, and everybody's saying, well, you're still gonna get fat from it. Your body's burning at a, at a post-workout, your body's burning calories at a, at, to the point, again, this is simple, this is a simple explanation. Your, your body's burning um, calories and fat enough so that that will not be turned into fat. Plus the glycogen and the insulin that's needed to be replaced by those sugars will be replaced. And you don't want that to happen by eating your chicken and your pasta first because the chicken and the pasta will end up um, going to replace those insulin levels and some of the proteins may be missed out on. So it's, it's literally almost a waste for you not to be doing this. Um, and a lot of people don't understand this. And again, sometimes I forget to post things because everything is just so second nature to me at this point. I, I forget to post this, but had a conversation with a friend um, on the phone the other day and they thought I was completely insane. Like, I'm, you know, I'm going to go to the gym just so I can eat candy so I don't feel like a bum and I'm going to get, I'm going to get more tone for it. So um, it's a win-win situation because I literally look for, I love the gym, trust me, I love the gym, but I look forward to that candy afterwards. You can't tell me that going to the gym and having Kit Kat bars and Twix ready for you at home, it's just like, it, it gives you a reason to lift. If you don't even like to lift, you get to eat candy without gaining weight, but in all seriousness, it'll be better for long-term muscle growth because your body will be burning these simple sugars, getting your insula, insulin level back up to normal, and then you can eat that protein uh, and you know the pasta, everything like that, and it will be used to its 100% nutritional value for what it should be, not by replacing those insulin levels, which a Kit Kat bar could do. So I mean, you get the best of both worlds. I don't know why you wouldn't be doing this. Um, if you don't believe me, feel free to Google it and look up the bigger words and the tougher explanations. I've been doing it. 
Um, I feel like I don't, you know, I, you know, I got to do this, check out my shirt a little bit. I feel like I don't look too bad, but I eat pretty gross after a workout, um, but not, not a huge amount um, for at least six days a week. Not a huge amount after my workout. I'll do um, small candy bars, small sugars, things like that. Uh, on my cheat days, I'll have a donut. I'm not going to lie to you, Friday... It was a big lifting day for me, and I had 11 donuts after my workout. But that's that's an ext that's a little bit of an extreme level. So I had 11 donuts, and I had a chocolate milk that has a thousand calories in it. Um, that you know that's not what I'm trying to get across right now. But I do suggest the sugars, the simple sugars. It's Halloween. Get that candy. Stock up some post workout type of candy. And I'm literally salivating because of it. I hope my sister does not get home within the next couple minutes because I'm going to go have a piece right... Oh, wait. No. I said I, would, I said I would stop eating after dinner tonight. Oh, well. But, guys, a little different from my other posts. Again, I will be getting back. Jump. I, just, I was sprinting today, doing some footwork, some stop and go stuff. I'm trying to get my legs back underneath me, getting comfortable moving again. Um, I did throw on cleats just to get a different feel, get some tension off my knees. I've been on a lot of uh, outdoor courts. Haven't found an indoor. Haven't found an indoor court that I could go to here yet. I'm um, going through so, just trying to get job situated, car figured out. But that's 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 beyond sky. I'm still grinding, still working, just trying to get in the gym to get that East Bay. So um, again, I appreciate the likes, comments, support. Uh, head over to my video with close to 400,000 views. Guys, I really want to get that video to a million views by the end of this year. So if you could like, comment, share it, share it on Facebook, uh, share it on Twitter, tag all your friends in it, um, anything you can do. Uh, that's my goal to get a million views on that video by January 1st. Okay, so if you guys can help me out with that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not asking you to go spend money or do anything. Share it on Facebook. I'd appreciate it. So. Thank you again for watching. I hope this explanation was simple enough. And if someone comes after me with wanting bigger words, um, you're going to have to find it somewhere else because I like to keep things simple and smooth. Remember, sky has no limits, guys. Uh, go get that free program on my website. Have a nice night, weekend, day. No, not weekend. It's Wednesday. I just, time zones mess me up, man. I'll see you guys, all right? See you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.